Okay, so this slide is about significant digits, and it has the different rules you can use to determine the number of significant digits. I just want to go over them with you to help clarify any confusion you might have. Rule number one, all non-zero digits are significant. So here you can see 1.234 grams has four significant uh, figures, and 1.2 has two significant figures. And you can use significant digits, significant figures interchangeably. Zeros between non-zero digits are significant. In other words, if you have a number where you have a non-zero value on each end, the zeros in the middle are significant. So 1002 has four significant figures, and 3.07 has three significant figures. Third rule, leading zeros to the left of the first non-zero digits are not significant. In other words, these zeros right here between the decimal point and the one are not significant because there's a zero over here. But notice this 3.07 had three because there was a number other than zero to the left of the decimal point. And it says such zeros merely indicate the position of the decimal point. So right here, this one only has two because the one and the two. And since it's zero point something, the zero doesn't count here and neither does this zero. Rule number four, trailing zeros and those are zeros that are after a decimal, like this or this. Trailing zeros that are also to the right of a decimal point in a number are significant. And what this says is you have a more precise reading. So 0 0.0230 is more precise than 0 0.023, which is why this zero is significant. So the 0 0.023 has three total significant digits, or significant figures, and 0 0.20 has two significant figures. When a number ends in zeros that are not to the right of the decimal point, the zeros are not significant. So 190 only has two because of the one and the nine. And 50600 zero, 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 or 50,600 has three because of 506. Now here's a really important point with significant digits. If you took this 190, and put a decimal point after it, then the zero becomes significant because you're saying it's precise to that zero. So that would make it three. And if you put a point after 50,600, then you would count all five because you're saying it's precise to this zero right here. So one, two, three, four, five, those would all be significant digits or significant figures. Okay, so I hope that helps to clarify some of the rules about significant digits. If you have individual questions, make sure you send your teacher a message in the message box and they'll be happy to help you.